When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, collectors do the same. And if you greet only brothers, what is unusual about that? Do not pagans do the same? So be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. An interesting story as we move on through the book of Kings. Um, the prophet Elijah coming to the end of his tenure as prophet and about to make the transition to the prophet Elisha who will take his place. And uh, it is after the death of Naboth. Naboth opened a vineyard which was next to uh, King Ahab's residence and uh, the king asked him for that vineyard so that he could have a vegetable yard there. And uh, Naboth refused. Naboth said, that is the home of my ancestors. Why would I give it up? He said, well, I'll give you another vineyard. 
or I'll pay you the price. And he said, no, because this is my ancestral home. And then uh, the king's wife, Ahab's wife, Jezebel, concocted a plan to have him killed. And then uh, once the man had died, the property reverted to the crown. And so that's what this piece is about. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah and the Tishbites, Start down to meet Ahab, the uh, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be the in, he will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has taken possession. And the Lord instructs Elijah to address him, saying, Hey, you have committed a great crime. He said, Because of that, all of your uh, all of your family, all of your heritage will experience this difficulty. And now uh, or Ahab repents and the Lord says, okay, it's not going to happen to you because it is a message that the Lord accepts the repentance of those who are truly sorry as well. But he said, it will visit in the next generation under your son uh, Jer Jeroham. Uh, and it sure enough did. Then, as he said, uh, Jezebel would also die and the uh, dogs would come and lap up her blood as they would in the case of Ahab as well. All of those came true and they were certainly generating a great fear of the power of God among the people. And that is why we see in the Old Testament a constant uh, Anxiety about having a great fear of the Lord because of the awesome power of God. We were coming to know Him, but then when He has become manifest in Jesus, we get a very different perspective. You see in the Gospel episode, Jesus says to His disciples, they've been discussing and arguing with Him some, saying, well, we're following the law. And Jesus is saying, Ideally, you go beyond the law. I know what the law says. The Italian law says an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I'm giving you a new standard because we are attempting to be like God. We're not attempting to be like the pagans. We're not attempting to be like people who have no faith and no belief in God, period. He's saying, hey, as I have lived, so I invite you to live and live in that kind of relationship with one another. They were quite comfortable with the fact that you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. And it still is a struggle in this day and age. But well, Jesus is saying this now. If you love your neighbor, well, what's the big deal about us? You know, the tax collectors and sinners do the same. Saying what I'm saying to you is, you got to love your enemy. Now that's a new neighbor. Uh, experiencing uh, love for the ones who are difficult, hostile, and uh, hard to manage. And Jesus is saying, this is the ideal, because you are ultimately trying to be perfect as your heavenly Father was perfect. It's not a standard that is way out beyond, but rather a standard that we try to live like God, how generous He is, how forgiving, how reconciling, and that that has got to be our model and our image. Let us turn to Him now and offer Him our prayers and our petitions. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the body of Christ, that the loaf of bread and cup of blessing we share may nourish and strengthen Christians around the world as we proclaim the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders have the will to ensure that all their people, especially the very young and the very old, have enough to eat and drink, so that no one suffers from chronic hunger or thirst. Pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who grow food, for farmers, farm workers, migrant workers, and for all those who package and deliver it, enabling us to serve it on our tables. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For those who cannot join us in celebrating the Eucharist, the hospitalized, and the homebound, and for the Eucharistic ministers who will be going forth to bring them the body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, that the nourishment we receive from the Eucharist may energize us to reach out and assist those who are in need of nourishment, clothing, or shelter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially today for all people serving in the armed forces for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Bob Flaherty, who was admitted to the hospital. We ask you, Lord, to be with him in this time of need and to bless his wife, Abby, and his family. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Bob Latham, the nephew of Maxine Miller, who died. And we ask you, Lord, to reward him with the gift of life and bless his family who mourn his passing. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all of these, our prayers, those that we have spoken publicly and those that remain silently in our hearts, we offer them all in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. For through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. And that the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the Church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now poor, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people set apart, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all of the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore be the gift we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, a 
And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim you death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, Spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Thank you, and let us take a moment to share the sign of his peace with each other. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have
mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Receiving Holy Communion, I invite you to stand so that I will know who needs, who wishes to receive. If you do not wish to receive for any reason, you may be seated. And then wait for us, we will come to you. Uh, keep your mask on and we will place the body of Christ in your hand and take a moment for us to move out of the way and then you can take off your mask and consume the host. We invite you to place your mask back on after that. Oh, 
shadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended and we go now in peace to love and serve God and each other. Thank you. You all have a wonderful evening. Thank you, and thank you for joining us, thank you for celebrating with us, thank you for those at home who are joining us via live stream. Glad to be with you and continue to stay in touch with us through the website and, uh, so that we can continue to update you on any happenings. And once again, for your safety and the safety of all present, we ask you to remain in your queue when Mass is over until you are dismissed by an usher in order to maintain social distancing regulations. Thank you very much. Let's join together as we sing, Blessed Be the Lord. Oh, yeah. 